I am going on a trip soon and she's leaving the family guys you are leaving the family yes, I'm leaving the family like I'm <laughs> you packing are my bags I guess I'm packing she's a going, bag you, tell people where you're going so one of my friends is getting married and she's having a bachelorette weekend in Las Vegas and guys before we start we don't really ask for much but uh wherever you listen to the podcast or YouTube like leave a good review especially yeah. like we never we've never asked but wherever you listen to the podcast I'm sure you can review it if you would say something nice give us five stars hopefully that's how you feel uh, leave a nice comment or something. And if you are on YouTube and you want to listen to this in your car, you can listen to it as a podcast. Uh, on YouTube, it's broken up into clips. But if you want to listen to it as a podcast, you can do that as well. And I think we even have the stream on our Facebook as well. So we got multiple places. Find a place to leave a good review. That really helps us out. And we thank you guys for uh, supporting us. Now, let's get with it. Now. Las Vegas, guys. Yes. Now that's where people go to lose their families. What? <laughs> it, well, depending on who you are. Normally, I shouldn't say normally, but I think in the past, like maybe, like I said, for the first four years of, of their life, if Jersey was two, I'd have been like, yeah, no, I'm not going. Like, be, I wouldn't mm. even have thought, like, nah, I'm sorry, <laughs> can't make it. You know that type of thing. But by the way, if you guys need context and you're new, new to us, we have identical twins who are eight and Jersey, who she just mentioned, is three year old boy. He's, so, he's about to be four. Yeah, about to be four. So in this scenario, but then when this came up and I was just like, I need to start doing these type of things. Well, I encouraged you. I was like, yeah, go, go, yeah. go, go somewhere. Yeah. And <laughs> go somewhere. I think I'm pretty supportive in that eyeball. regard. Keep I my mean, eyeballs on you. Go uh, somewhere. A lot of husbands wouldn't do that. You know, <laughs> I, I'm very encouraging about it. Uh, go somewhere. So go yeah. Ahead. Anyhow, go ahead. Um, I know it'd be Vegas, guys. I mean, Reno, <laughs> Reno, maybe, or Vegas. Come on. But there's still some, you know, guilt involved with that. And sometimes I'm like easing the kids, like, don't worry. It's, you know, it's two days. Like, you won't even notice. It's, yeah, I'll be right back. I'll, I'll drop you off in the morning and you, I'll see you that day at least. Three so days. It's not Friday, even, Saturday, Sunday. Right? I know, but I'm yeah. going to see them Sunday, Friday morning. Got it. Um, so I'm like, you know, you'll still see me Friday morning. So technically you only won't see me for two days and not even because I'll be back Sunday. So mm-hmm. it'll be one day you won't see it. Like, I'm like, I'm going to explain this away. But, I mean, for them, like, I want them to, to also wrap their minds around the fact that their parents have to have a life as well. And their parents have friends as well. At least I do now, I guess. <laughs> you have a lot of friends now. You're very popular. I had no friends before. I guess I have friends now. That's what again, I mean, but, will do, right? No, not having friends was really, again, by choice. I was like, no, I want, I'm not going anywhere. Like, right. that was just what I was, was. I would not be going anywhere. I'd, I'd be like, dinner? No, I'm not coming. What time is it? Six? Nah, <clears throat> no, I got to be here for bedtime. Oh, you guys are going somewhere for the weekend? Ah, no, I'm not coming. Like, that that was just me. It was just mm-hmm. who... But again, I don't regret it. That's just That was my choice. That's what I wanted to do. But I don't want the kids... That's why I said, I guess, at four, you know, I feel like they're independent enough to understand, which was big for me to understand. Like, not just feel like mom doesn't want to be there, but just to understand, like, oh, I see my mom all the time. It's okay for her to have some fun. She'll yeah. be right back. Um, but also don't want it to go on so long that that's what they're accustomed to. Like I said about a husband, that's what they're accustomed to. And then when you do want to go somewhere, it's like a whole thing. Um, but, you know, I'm excited to go. So you're going on a ladies trip for uh, somebody's getting yes. married to Vegas. Yeah. And you guys are going to do like shows and... Yeah, I'm hoping I'll stay up past... Uh, <laughs> Well, it's your first time to Vegas, right? It is my first time uh, going to Vegas. So you at least enjoy the strip and whatever. So anyhow, yeah. but she's going on a trip and I think uh, I, you know, I'm supportive of it because I think you sh- I think it's good for you. It's good for you to go out with your friends and just um, <laughs> so worried about the kids, not worried about the kids, but like always like when I get to go to like the steamer or something and I'm just like by myself and I'm just like, I don't have to think about are the kids okay or like whatever? Um, it's it's such a good feeling to like be able to let all that weight just and just yeah. be you. Yeah, no, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Yes, but also kind of like ah, uh, you know, obviously going to miss the family because we don't spend a lot of time apart, not especially not overnight time. So it's different, it's new. But I don't think it's bad, and that that is what I'm trying to get basically get to here. It's not bad, and it's things that it's okay. Like it's okay to take a trip without your kids. Like I'm trying to plan for Justin and I to do something finally without the kids because mm-hmm. we've never taken a trip together without kids. 
Right. And I think I do think it's important for us, as you said before, for our future relationship to be like, okay, we can do things without the kids. Because when the kids leave us, I'm going to be like, oh, well, I think that's a a big message for all mommies and daddies, uh, especially those who kind of got together with kids, um, you know, involved Mm -hmm. from the very beginning. You know, you and I didn't date. You know, we 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 got into this relationship when you. The girls, Abe and Alexis, were almost a year old. You know, like you had kids. Like that was a very serious commitment. And so it wasn't like you came into meeting me like totally focused on me. Yeah, like let's go on a trip. Let's go uh, on a vacation. That was not the case at all. (laughs) So it's important that I know people talk about you got to date your significant other. But more importantly, you just have to really you have to know who they are and let them be who that person is. And don't restrict it. Don't control it. You know, um you and I sometimes like she don't have we don't have a lot in common sometimes, but we don't need to. It's like I, I don't need you to love what I love, or like I've said it before. Like I'm gonna love what I love regardless. I, I'm, I'm not <laughs> looking. I'm not looking for a cosigner. I'm not like I'm a I'm a strong person in that regard. It's like I'm gonna find the things that I love, and I'm gonna be a leader. I've always been a leader. Uh, ain't nobody following, but I'm leading, <laughs> <laughs> and that's fine with me. I don't need any followers. I'm leading well, the way. I think except I, my kids, they follow. They, they follow everything I do. <laughs> I think that um, in that regard, that will even change in a year or two years as things go on. Because, again, the focus, I don't even want to say focus, but just being more open to, like, let's do things together Mm -hmm. without the kids. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, for me, it's like I didn't want to do anything without the kids, which leaves us doing kid things, if that sure. makes sense. Well, kids are our priority, too, so I'm always thinking yeah. about, you know, let's make sure that it's fine for the kids. Yeah. So I'm, I'm more in the mindset of, yes, let's still keep doing those things, but let's make sure we leave a night or two or whatever a month to make sure we do what will we enjoy mm-hmm. together. Yeah. You know, we went to a comedy show the, the other night, and I thought that was great. It was fun. I liked the comedy. I think we both enjoy Comedy shows, yeah. as long as they're good. <laughs> yeah, and by the way, and, quick shout out to uh, my friend David Arnold. You should check him out. If he yeah. comes to your town, he's got a Netflix special, uh, David Arnold. I don't know what it is, but just type it in. A really good show. Yeah. So um, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, so we saw him, and that was that fun and funny. So I'm saying things like that to make sure we start doing those things that we would enjoy both times together because going off what you just said like sometimes you and I don't have a lot in common I'm like I don't think that's true I think it's that we don't get to do the things that we may enjoy together because right. of what the priority is and still is but on top of that list need to also add in there hey let's do things that we want to do that don't involve dragging three kids along yeah. and that's something that especially for me like I'm going to be 40 I just said it out loud so it's actually happening <laughs> Well, you, you better hope that it happens. If you don't turn 40, then that's a, that's a problem. Um, and I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like a lot of people say 40 is like, once you get over 40, you start really start living your best life. Like you, I guess, because you, you've you been through so much. You've lived a certain amount of time. You've seen mistakes. You've done mistakes. No, I'm, no, I'm, it's not. Like, I really feel like. Okay. Not like, oh, suddenly I'm a whole different person, but I feel like I'm so much more confident in everything that I want to do for myself at this age than I would have been at 30, than I would be at right. 35. Well, you, you, you come into your own a little bit, or, I, yeah. or I, I did, I know. You know, I definitely did. You come yeah. into your own. So. so it's, it's it's again, not a whole changing of a person, but you just realize that, wow, like I've hit a certain mark, and I guess you start thinking about your finite time on this earth. Yeah. And that's really what it is. And you're like, man, I'm I'm not going to be here forever. I just hit 40. I've been here 40 years. How many more do I yeah. have ahead of me? And also you look at peers, you look in the news and people die of cancer at 43 or, or a, a natural condition at 47. And you're just like, wow, like um, who's to say that couldn't be me? Yeah. Let's appreciate this life now because I could be on borrowed time. We could be on our last days. Whereas when you're 27, you think you're going to live forever. Yeah. And that's exactly But in your it. 40s, you realize that life is finite and that, you, you know, you will perish. Like, nobody gets out of this alive. Yep. And um, we hope that we live to be, uh, you know, a long life and we die in our sleep at 91. But uh, for a lot of people, it's it's a it's a very difficult road in the end. 
and um, nobody's impervious. Yep. Know? Yeah. No, that's it. That's that's truly what it is. That's why I said it's not like I'm like, oh, I'm going through a midlife crisis. I'm a whole other person. It's just that that thought starts to cross your mind more. So it makes you say, I need to make sure I live my best life. Right. And meaning live my best life with my kids. Like I still want to do all those things that I was doing before and always being there and doing things with them and for them. But also adding all those things with, for me, for you and I together, like just making sure all parts of this life that I'm living is being enjoyed and Mm. lived. And that's where my mindset is now to say, one thing doesn't have to be just it. Like it can be multiple things on the same priority layer. Mm -hmm. And that's how I'm feeling right now. Like, Hey, my kids, me, you and I all priority layers Mm -hmm. to make sure we, we have them all rotating to be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Um, And I'm loving it. I'm, I'm loving this free mindset to say, man, it's okay to say, Hey, go with Imani for an hour. Your dad and I are going to have dinner. Right. I, I don't feel guilty about that anymore. Dude, it's okay. You can do an hour without us. So like, yeah. you got to also go over there sometimes. Yeah. So I'm I'm happy to feel that way. I don't know how you feel about Well, I, I think that. our kids will adore us and respect us even more as we get older, knowing that we are our own person as well. Mm-hmm. You know, we don't want to be doting on our kids all the time. Yeah. Like, we want to be our own person. So I think uh, what you're doing, what I'm doing is exactly that. So I, I think it's... Yeah, I think it's great. I think it's what we should be doing. So, guys, that's it, really. Just want to say prior... That's what you want to say? So, (laughs) just want to say prioritize yourselves as well as your family and your children because it's important for you to be happy in order for your children to be happy as well. (sighs) That's That's what I wanted to say. So, thanks for joining us. You said it. You said it, guys. (laughs) Guys, uh, and, and, and as we said before, leave us a good review, leave us a comment, send us something, a DM, find us on Instagram, all that cool stuff. We appreciate you guys, and uh, we'll see you or you'll see us next time. <laughs> <laughs>